What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Lil Tiny. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Lopes and welcome to the new car. So this is my 2018 Civic Si sedan. Uh, it's in black. You guys saw a couple shots of it. Let's turn it on because I'm dying of heat in here. Push start. Oh la la. This car has every feature in the book to me anyway. Uh, let's turn that down. It's a radio, I promise you. Like I said, it's 2018 Civic Si sedan. Uh, it's in black. As you can see, we're in the car. I finally got the mounting gear, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 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 I finally did. Hopefully it's not too shaky. We're gonna take it for a drive. Uh, we're gonna pick up Alex and we're gonna go buy some parts for it already. Uh, this little screen in front of me here, you have a whole bunch of different settings you can go through. Uh, I'd leave it either at gas consumption or at the red light, if I'm trying to race people, I leave it at the, <laughs> the lights, the tack lights there so I know when to shift properly. Uh, you have your sport function, brake hold, push, uh, br push e-brake, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's put it into sports, because you know, we're sporting like that. I want to start off by saying the clutch is extremely, extremely light. Um, way different than the CSX. Going from one car to another, holy moly, what a completely different experience. Which is crazy, I'm not even just talking about power band, I'm talking about how the car drives, um, how it brakes, how everything, like it's just extremely different. Um, so the clutch is uh, extremely, extremely light in this car, which is nice for especially beginner people who are learning to drive. So hopefully Alexandra, she'll get some uh, tutorials and she'll learn how to drive the Civic. She did want an automatic car, but uh, that's not going to happen, is it? Unless we're getting a uh, very fancy car like a Lambo or something crazy like that GTR, which isn't happening in my time in life right now. Yeah, aside from that, uh, the car picks up really well. Uh, for the little 1.5 it pushes nice uh, with the K-Tuner and some bolt-ons this thing really makes a good difference you can be uh, have some really high torque numbers which is extremely odd for a Honda which <laughs> we know that uh, for example my supercharged CSX is only pushing 230 torque and I think after a K-Tuner I'll be pushing 240 in this just a stage 1 K-Tuner which is crazy the brakes are actually decent sized calipers on these things uh, they're decent sized calipers they break pretty well uh, the acceleration is quite nice, but probably my all-time favorite thing is this shift box. This shift box is nuts. It is short throw. It's nice and notchy. It's almost magnetic. Like if you just push it and it just gets past that little wall and it just clicks. It's in gear. So it's almost like it's a magnet. It's not, but that's how I, it's the best way to describe it in my description. So let's go into the sport and comfort mode. So I'm in a very bumpy construction road right now. Extremely like road is torn up. I just put into comfort mode and as you guys can see there's really not much shake in the car. Like this car handles really well from when you put in comfort mode the steering's nice and loose. You know it gives you that bit of play when you're just cruising around. Uh, it's very soft but the second you put into sports mode which we're going to do now you have all the gauges and everything here that's digital which is really really nice turn red and the suspension stiffens up because we have active dampening and the steering tightens up and you i believe it's a different map on the car as well where you push a little more boost 
uh, which is pretty cool. The car out of factory handles amazing when you're in sport mode, which is crazy. Uh, it's on some Goodyear tires. I will put the, what type of tires they are, right here or somewhere, because I can't remember the exact brand or model, because I know it's a good year. We're getting a little acceleration. It's pretty quiet. That's probably my only complaint so far, is the car is so quiet. If you're listening to music, you cannot hear nothing. There's nothing, no exhaust note or anything. Uh, we're gonna change that, obviously. I gotta hear what I'm doing. You know, you can feel so much, but you always want to hear what you're doing and whatnot. But that's probably my own complaint. It's really, really quiet. But the, you know, remote entry, the, the keyless entry, everything's so cool. Like, I just, like, wave my hand over the handle and boof, all the doors unlock. Coming from a guy that hasn't had AC in five years in any of his cars. So, <laughs> I think I'm most excited about is the AC. Unfortunately, my memory got full, and now we are... Uh, recording once again after buying a few car parts which is already happening i've had the car since tuesday maybe like 500 not even 500 kilometers yet and we're already having car parts done which is uh, pretty badass and you guys aren't going to know the car parts yet it's going to be future videos we're going to install them today and then you guys will see you in the future this car is awesome the the power is okay it's nice the delivery of the power is in within like the 1500 to 5500 range which is nice getting in and out of traffic it's a 1.5 turbo which is really different compared to any other motors that we've had in the si series so a lot of people kind of say this is not the true si because of the 1.5 turbo but it is completely different and i like it it's great on gas i'm getting 600 kilometers which is great uh, my Subaru, which is gone, say goodbye. We had a nice young kid by, he's 16 years old, getting into the cars, uh, the car scene, and he's gonna, say, he says he's going crazy with it, he's gonna go wide body, do all that crazy stuff. So that's exciting, so let him do that. Uh, and hopefully one day we'll see the car, but uh, I wanted something new or something that can drive nice, has all the fancy features. Uh, What's awesome about this car, probably one of my favorite features, aside from the exterior, which is beautiful. I love, love that front end. It's just basically like my cheap <laughs> Type R in a sense. And why didn't I go Type R? So I couldn't justify going Type R for the reason that I'm gonna drive this thing in snow. And I didn't wanna drive a Type R in snow. It's a platform car. I thought about it. And plus the interest rate's like 5.89, which is nuts for a new car. So I ended up going with SI, I got a way cheaper interest rate, $15,000 less than that $200 a month payment, or even more, two to $300 a month payment, is now going into modifications, right? And also I have a wedding I kinda have to pay for, but... <laughs> so, yeah, the car is great, I love the exterior. The only thing that needs a better work, in my personal opinion, is the rear end. I'm not a big, big fan of how the rear looks, but after some modifications, it's gonna look great, I have, an, like, I have some ideas. But the car is so new that there's not much out for it, but the mods that are out for it, I'm gonna start doing, which I've already bought three, I believe, three or four that we can do already, which is exciting. Um, I haven't, I guess I haven't messed around in a sense. I already have a K-Tune shift knob on there. Thanks, Rain, uh, appreciate it. Um, it was from his old Civic that he sold for WRX. Suck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Douchebag. But the car drives great. Um, it is super smooth. We have active dampening in the car, so uh, when you're in your comfort mode, you know, the steering's a little looser. Uh, it's a lot, like it takes bumps a lot nicer. Then you put the sport mode, which I just did, and the steering gets tighter. Uh, the acceleration becomes a little better. I believe you have a little more boost, and the car actually moves a lot, lot better. Uh, aside from that, the sound system in the car is great. I really enjoy the sound system as well. I've never had a sound system in many, many years. I had my EP3 way, way, way long time ago. And um, it's nice to have gadgets in a car for once, which I've never had. So that is one thing I'm, I'm super excited about. Um, but aside from that, this is just a reveal, a basically just saying, here's the new car. We went with an SI. Unfortunately, it's not all wheel, all wheel drive, which is not a big deal because I've driven front wheel drive cars in the winter ton, tons and tons of times. Can't take anything away between, from all wheel drive because all wheel drive is nuts in the winter and within snow and dirt and all that. But we're gonna do just fine in this. We're gonna have modifications coming up. 
I just want to say thank you guys for supporting. I hope you guys are happy. I had to stick to the Honda bloodline, you know. I had to stick to my roots. I had to stick with the Honda. And we're going to make this one look as good as a CSX. It's going to be fast. Maybe not as fast, but it'll still be fast. And uh, it's just going to look good. You guys are going to like all the little mods from everything from LEDs to, you know, badging to, like, K-Tuner to, like, visors and all that type of stuff. You know, I want to black out the chrome on the window trim. Uh, so we do have, those are just little mods. We do have a bunch more that I'm thinking of. I'm looking into it. I'm new to the 10th gen, so I've gotten to a couple of clubs and stuff that, you know, Facebook clubs and stuff that will tell me a lot about the car and, you know, information about the car. But aside from that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. Peace out. I hope you're. Ex I hope you guys are excited as I am. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more 2018 Civic Si content and supercharged CSX content. Do it once. Do it right. Peace, Peace. out. <laughs>